Where did you grow up? I grew up in Yokohama, Japan. How important was food in your culture back then? My mom is an excellent cook. She always made everything from scratch uh, and uh, very particular about selecting ingredients. So I always liked eating and I think the, the great food that my mom cook really uh, elevated my taste bud and then very particular about food. When did you first start cooking food? I think uh, I, I was always helping my mom when I was little as maybe elementary school but just uh, like uh, making gyoza or like peeling some quail eggs or something like really small tasks uh, that we did together but when I really started cooking is when I was in high school my sophomore year I have to quit my uh, high school volleyball uh, club because my mom started uh, started her business that time I was uh, asked to help the household chores and one of the main chores was cooking for the family and so that's when I really started cooking every day I would say the average of like three four dishes for the family so that was the time that I started cooking, seriously. What dish are we making today? We are making oyakodon. Oyakodon means parents and kids. Oya is parents and ko is kids. And that means uh, it's a chicken and egg and donburi, so oyako don. How do you make this dish? First, you cut vegetables, green onions. Uh, for this case, I use a bakuta instead of spinach. Then uh, yellow onions. Then I cut chicken, uh, all in bite size. Then you will mix seasoning, which is soy sauce, soup stock, sweet sake and sake almost an equal amount each and in a, a pan cook chicken and onions and let it simmer for a couple minutes once it's cooked a little bit then you will add green onions then let it simmer for another minute or two then we'll add like baka chai and that's once uh, it's cooked then, then you will add uh, eggs, beaten eggs. I would say uh, like about two thirds of the egg that you cook first. And when it's about 70% cooked, then you will pour the rest of the egg. And don't cook overcook. Uh, cook about 70% and then you will stop the stove. Then in a bowl, you will uh, at uh, cooked rice and over cooked rice you will pour the uh, oyakodon the cooked oyakodon if you like you can also add some uh, nori on the top you know oyakodon is a very common dish in japan and it's not something that people go out and then order that dish yeah it is on the menu in a restaurant but there's something it's really home cooking it's easy um, easy cooking and it's still delicious and nutritious <laughs>